Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. This is part 17 in Mapping Data Flow Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to fetch top and rows based on column values using Mapping Data Flow. So let's see the requirement in details. So as you can see in the first image, we have a CSV file which has three columns, product ID, product name and sales. So our requirement is to get the top three product names which has generated the maximum sales value. Okay. So if you see the data, so if we consider this sales value in dollar, so laptop has generated sales value of 5.2 million dollars. Similarly, headset has generated some hundred thousand dollars. Okay. And mouse has generated 50,000, keyboard generated 70,000, CPU generated 8,000, UPS generated 4,000 and desktop generated some 40,000 uh, dollars. Similarly, Surface Hub generated 8.02 million uh, dollars and Xbox generated 7.7 .7 million dollars. Okay. So, uh, if you compare all, all of these, uh, then you will get that laptop and uh, Xbox and Surface Hub. These three products are generating the highest uh, top three uh, values for sales. Okay. So in our case, I'm just taking top three records. So we want to get the list of all the products which has, gen which has generated the maximum uh, sales value. And we want to get the output like this. Okay. We want the product name and the sales value and it should be sorted based on descending order on the sales value. Okay. So let's go to data flow and see how to uh, create the data pipeline to achieve this requirement. So let me go to Azure portal. So I have a file called accessories sales dot CSV and here all the data is same as shown in the presentation. Okay. Now let me go to ADF portal and here let me start creating the data flow. So my data flow debug is already turned on. Let me add a source transformation and here let me try to create the data set pointing to the same file that is accessories sales.csv. So the file is in CSV format. So let me uh, choose this CSV format and let me click on the existing link service and here inside the demo folder I have the input file. So let me click on that and as you can see the first row is header. So let me click on this first row as a header and let me try to import schema. So let me click on OK and now let me preview the data. So the data looks good. Now on top of this we want to fetch the records that has generated highest sales value. Okay. So we want to get only top three uh, products. Okay. So to do that let me add aggregate function and here let me skip this group by tab. Let me go to aggregate tab and here let me generate a column called items. Okay. It can be any dummy column that you can generate and in the expression let me try to make use of a function called top n. So what this function does is it gets top n values for any column. Okay. So let me try to make use of this. Let me use top n. So the first thing that I need to pass on is expression or a column that I need to get as the output. Okay. So here let me uh, provide product name because we want product name as the output as you can see in the uh, presentation product name and based on what column or what value we want to sort the data it's it will be based on sales value so let me uh, select this sales and here in the numeric value i need to give top n number that means how many numbers you want to fetch so if i want to uh, fetch out top three numbers then i will give three if i want to fetch top five numbers then i can give five so here in my case i am going for three okay so let me save and finish and here it is uh, giving an error saying top n function expects long type of ar argument. So here what we can do is either we can go to the source and here in the projection we can convert this sales value to long. Let me select long here. So once this is done you can see the error has gone or the second option is instead of doing this we can add something called cast transformation where we can explicitly define the data type of any column. So here 
in sales value we have to convert this to long so if i do this it is accepting the uh, expression that we have written or the third thing that we can do is none of that uh, we can directly uh, use too long function in this sales column okay so let me use too long this will also convert the uh, column into long data type so let me preview the data now so our data has been generated so items is the column name that we have given for the new column and the result is coming in the array format so if i click on this you can see only three records has been uh, coming as the output let me expand it so you can see the first one is laptop which is coming under value property and it has the sales value as well which is coming under count property so don't worry about it and the second one is xbox and the third one is surface hub so these are the three items that we had expected let me check the expected output so you can see laptop xbox and surface hub so we are good now let me convert it into flattened data by using flattened transformation as this is coming in under uh, array so let me use flattened transformation to convert it into individual rows so let me select items array and here let me select the value property and count property and let me give the uh, column name as product name as it was before and sales okay and sales okay now let me preview the data yeah so the data is available now you can see each of the values are coming as separate rows now if i compare it with the expected output you can see all the values are coming correctly but we want to sort it by descending order so for doing that let me use something called sort transformation and here on on the basis of sales column we want to sort on we want to sort by descending order so now let me preview the data so now surface hub which is having the maximum sales value is coming on the top and it is followed by xbox and laptop so we are good let me recheck so you can see surface hub xbox and laptop so we are good now let me load this data into sql table so to do that let me use sync transformation and here let me select an existing data set that is pointing to my sql database and let me open this uh, data set and here let me give a name to the table called sales table okay so this table does not exist in my sql database so once we run the pipeline it should auto generate the table okay so now let me create a uh, pipeline that will call this data flow so let me now debug the pipeline and let's wait for the completion of this pipeline then we will check if sales table is present or not let me write the query for sales table and it has already loaded the data so let me no, now go to the data flow so you can see data flow execution is also completed so that means uh, we are getting the correct result so this is what was expected right so we are good so similarly we can derive any number of top n records by changing the value that we are giving in this top n function okay so instead of 3 you can give any number uh, that you want to fetch okay so that's it for this video guys i hope you like the content please like the video and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet and also please uh, hit on the bell icon to get notification whenever i add videos thank you